Meanwhile, nearly half a million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine distributed in South Carolina. And after you get vaccinated, the CDC says you can expect some after effects ranging from pain where you received that injection to potentially a small fever or maybe a headache. Now, this has a lot of people asking about the use of over the counter medications when you get the shot and how it could impact the vaccine's effectiveness. We're going to head out to Fox Carolina, Zach Perlutsky. He talked with an upstate doctor today and he's live in Greenville. So what did you learn from this doctor, Zach? Yeah, well, Cody and Tori, most people, when they're feeling a little ill, they'll take an over-the-counter medication such as Tylenol to help ease those symptoms. Now, the CDC says that after you've gotten your COVID-19 vaccine, and if you are feeling some of those after effects, you can take medication like this to help with those. But they also say there are certain times they do not recommend taking those medications, saying it could potentially impact how the vaccine works. The CDC says medications such as acetaminophen may be taken if symptoms develop after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Common side effects after getting the vaccine range from low-grade fevers to headaches, according to the CDC. But they are recommending against taking those meds before receiving your shot or after if you are not experiencing symptoms, saying data on the impact it has on the vaccine is not yet available. I think what the CDC is asking is that you push the limit a little bit on yourself just so you can maximize your immune response. And again, you won't negate all the effects of the vaccine just by taking a pill before or after, but the longer you can avoid it, the better off you will be. While the COVID-19 vaccine is a new development, Chief Medical Officer at Bon Secours St. Francis, Dr. Surabi Gower says it's similar to other vaccines in how it was created. The way this vaccine was developed, the core scientific principles surrounding development of this vaccine, that's not entirely new, and that's not entirely out of left field, and that's not entirely unstudied. The goal of the vaccine is to teach our cells how to make a protein and trigger an immune response inside our bodies. Anything that's going to dull our immune response right after we get the vaccine, in theory, could reduce the efficacy of that vaccine. Now, Dr. Gower says her recommendation is if people are comfortable taking over-the-counter medications before and after, that they should do whatever makes them the most comfortable in terms of the vaccine. Now, health officials also say in terms of other medicines, such as prescribed uh, immunosuppressants, stuff like that, it's best to talk with your personal physician to figure out if getting the vaccine is safe for you. For now, reporting live in Greenville, Zach Prelutsky, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.